In this lesson in fractions, we're going to look at some harder bod mass examples where you've got brackets and multiplications, and you can either, even have divides in as well. But if you follow the ideas behind this lesson, uh, you can deal with most of the questions like this. So the question here is 2 fifths times 1 quarter plus 3 fifths in brackets. Now it looks quite confusing, quite complicated, but if you just take it one step at a time, you can deal with this. It's also important to, I've got this of up here now, that times can be replaced with of and that sometimes puts people off. If you see an of, just change it to a times sign. Um, one half of ten is five, one half times ten is also five. So times and of can be interchangeable. Now, first thing to do here is to write down bod mass and understand the order of operations here. Now you do brackets before anything else. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to do this quarter plus three fifths. And I'm going to do that at the side here. Draw a wee line down and do a quarter plus three fifths. So common denominator when you're adding this, so, so that'll be twentieths. How do you get from quarters to twentieths? Times by five to the same to the top. It's going to be five. How do I get from fifths to twentieths? So times by the four to the same to the top and you get twelve. So add these two together and you get 17 twentieths. So really what we're doing here is we're doing 2 fifths times 17 twentieths. I'm going to write that down. 2 fifths times 17 twentieths. Now at this point I want to look for diagonal pairs I can cancel out. The 2 and the 20 are at the same times table. So I'm going to do that to make this easier. So that can divide by 2 to be 1 and that can divide by 2 to be 10. So if I just do my multiplication, 1 times 17 is 17, and 5 times 10 is 50, and I'm finished. Okay, another example here, just to finish off. Now it's the same principles here, I want to do a bit of bod mass, I've got a bracket here, so I want to do that first. So I'm moving on to be doing the half, take away the quarter. So I draw a wee dirty line and I'm going to do that at the side. So I have to take away a quarter. Most common multiple of that is four. So I'm going to change the half into quarters and I'm going to leave this quarter alone. So how do I get from two up to four? I double it, do the same to the top. So I've got two quarters, take away one quarter. Now the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this into a top heavy fraction. So I'm going to do four times one add 3 and I'm going to make that 7 quarters. It's just easier to deal with when I'm doing this multiplication. So 7 quarters and we're, we're saying that this bit comes to 1 quarter so I'm going to times that. So top numbers multiplied give you 7, bottom numbers multiplied give you 7 sixteenths. That's your answer. 